Good day and thanks for stopping by Bridge Cable. This, folks, you might recognize is a patch panel. So we're up working today right now in the secret lab or Bridge Cable loading dock. So this is a one post rack. So a lot of times working with this, the rack, you can just put your patch panel right here and you're just directly behind it and you're punching down. Very nice, very easy. Basically a lot of times you're going to have everything coming from the ceiling. Uh, occasionally you might have a conduit through the floor. Um, if you're not using a conduit on the floor, please don't drop the wires through a hole through the bottom because a lot of times that could kick. We were just at a uh, medical facility that had 200 wires coming out from the floor and it, it was crazy. But anyway, so a lot of times you want to have it up in the ceiling, it's coming down, you use wire management, get it real nice, and then you can just start punching down behind here on the panel. Now, what to do if you're in a smaller environment? And uh, you know, a lot of times we're just working with a 9U, which is maybe about this size. So right here we have a lot of times for the walls. We just have a uh, swing arm, so you'll just put the patch panel right on there, and you can just have it come out. And that's that's a real simple solution for a very small office environment, maybe like 48 porter um, is max that we want to have on there. But nowadays with a 9U, you'll see a lot of times uh, with small business, we'll just put a 9U up there. Provides uh, cable management, the patch panel, also. Tex, this, this video is for the new Tex. We also tried to separate, a lot of times people were using voice over IP, they're doing away with analog. So one patch panel for the network, one for the VoIP, um, data and voice. So we'll try to separate that because even if they're not utilizing that now, in the future, it's a great thing to have and you might as well do it right the first time. And a lot of times we put CAT6, these are fives, uh, basically, we just use these as uh, examples. But anyway, we install CAT6 because we like to do things the first time. So, original point. If you're in a small case, lock closet, telephone closet, and IDF relay closet, you're not going to be able to walk behind. You're going to be working right on front of it. And the best way to do that is, how do you get all these cables from, you know, bunching up? How do you make it look nice? A lot of our guys, hats off to them, they all have OCD. Now, even when I first started, I used to just take the, the patch panel and just sit there on a ladder and just start punching down. All right, well, I'm going to start here, there. And then when I put it back in there, I'm fighting this wire. Fighting it, and then I'm shoving it up through the ceiling. So all we do here is, when you got the rack, just take the patch panel upside down. No brainer. You have a nice support. And yes, the post is not bolted down to the center of our loading dock. So uh, there's going to be a little play. So you got this upside down. Now what you want to start doing is you just want to feed them in. One by one. Strip it right there. And you want to start dragging it. I don't have my snips on me. So if we we're punching down on one, so we start at one, two, so cut it right there. And folks, let's not try to have a bunch of jacket off and just have the exposed um, four pair coming out of here on the wire, because that's no good. So you want to take the wire, and once it's already there, and a lot of times some, some of our guys we mount it or we uh, do the wire management right before we even punch down because we're pretty good at it. So you can also punch down and then later just kind of really just tighten this up and, and this is just on the back of here. But you want to just cut down, snip there. Then I want to show you another point. I've seen sometimes where they start over here because it's easier or they start here. Whatever you guys want to do, you want to check with the senior tech on site, or what I always do is wherever the customer is not going to see too much. Now, we have to make sure it's neat all the time, but pick a side, it doesn't really matter. It, it doesn't matter in the computer world. A lot of people are going to pick bones, but it doesn't matter. So, but you definitely won't, don't want to have two bundles to start up like this. You know, punch it down here and punch down there. 
What's the point of that? I don't understand that. So, and especially when you service it. So, talking too long, but there's a lot to go over, guys. A lot to go over. So, you're punching down. Say, for example, you feel like starting in the middle. You're a winner. And you punch down. Okay. Then we keep on going, and maybe you punch down number two. You don't want to do that. You want to keep a flow. You want to start from this side, or this side, but typically this side. You want to start from this side and then work your way through. Because here's the problem. If you already punch down these two guys, then you got to fight to get them in there. It's going to look like garbage. So we're going to go ahead and you start one, two, and then we're going to build off. Also, if you start over here in the middle, you're going to be fighting this cable all the time. So once you're all done, you're all buttoned down, guess what you got to do? All you got to do is just flip it around. Also, as the screws are falling on me. <laughs> so what? once we're all done punching it, all we got to do is move it around a little bit, boom, and it's tight. So this, and a lot of times when I punch down, I already managed it. So I already did this, and it just has a little, like maybe an inch of play. So, but that's okay. So, but once you got that rack in there, you want to make sure that you have some one use of cable management. Another thing too, folks, is with your screws. Don't put them in bags next to the server because they're going to get lost. Just go ahead and screw any extra ones that you have. Screw them into the frame. Be thoughtful of the next person. Also, for cable management, yeah, you can use wire ties. That's all great. Velcro. White, black, blue, green. All colors of the rainbow is there. With uh, the cables too, once they're in place, once they're all punched down, you really don't need this. But a lot of times with insulations, we already have them numbered. Whether or not you're using a marker, whether or not you're using stickers, that's fine. There's a lot to know about network cabling to do it the right way. Thanks so much. Love any comments down below. Thanks for coming to Bridge Cable. Take care.